Hello there, welcome back to Rapid Dentistry. I am Dr. Pragya and today we are going to dive into an important topic that is tuberculosis aka TB. Now this infectious disease has spread to one third of our population and it's a global health issue. Now in India, two deaths every three minutes occur from TB alone. Crazy, right? Now TB is a bacterial infection caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis primarily it affects lungs but it can also impact other parts like lymph nodes kidneys liver brain etc now let's see how tb spreads so tb is an airborne disease meaning it spreads through the air so whenever an infected person coughs sneezes or talks <coughs> droplets containing bacteria goes into the air and the person inhaling it gets infected. So that's why good ventilation is so important to prevent TB. Now once inhaled, the bacteria goes right into the lung and involves your hilar lymph nodes and forms a complex in the subpleural region known as Gons complex. So this is your primary TB infection. Now all this while your immunity is fighting this bacteria. Unable to do so, it makes a wall around this bacteria known as granuloma formation. Now, as you can see, it has caseous necrosis in the middle followed by Langens giant cells. Now, remember it's Langens, not Langerhans. And you can also see modified macrophages known as epithelioid cells. And your lymphocytes lies in the outermost layer. So now, TB has become latent, meaning it's waiting for the right opportunity to cause the infection. Now, whenever your immunity gets suppressed due to some disease like HIV AIDS, now this bacteria gets the opportunity and your latent TB reactivates to cause secondary TB. It can now spread to various organs like causing cold abscess in your lymph nodes, to your kidneys, to liver through your blood that is hematogenous root. Now let's talk about symptoms which can be quite subtle and they often mimic other illnesses. You have to look out for persistent cough which is there for like more than two weeks. You have to look out for fatigue, unexplained weight loss, night sweats, fever, clubbed fingernails and sometimes chest pain as well. Now let's talk about how can we diagnose tuberculosis. For that, your doctor runs certain tests including chest x-rays, sputum culture. For that, the culture media used is Lovensin Jensen media. And also, we have a type 4 hypersensitivity based test known as Montox skin test. Now for TB, early diagnosis is the key to effective treatment. But the main problem with treatment of TB is drug resistance. So over time, this bacteria has developed multi-drug resistant strains, that is your MDR-TB, and also extensively drug resistant stains, that is your XDR-TB. These are even more challenging to treat. So it's very important to take the medication as prescribed to prevent the development of drug resistance. To ensure that they have also come up with DOTS therapy, that is your directly observed therapy short course for TB. Now, luckily, under proper management, TB has a 100% cure rate. Now, we have made a separate video for anti tubercular drugs in detail. So, do check that out, and link will be in the description. Now, obviously, prevention is much better than cure. So if you are in close contact with someone with TB, get yourself vaccinated with BCG vaccine and try to maintain good hygiene and proper ventilation to prevent spread of TB. Now that's a wrap for our quick overview of tuberculosis. Remember to stay informed and take the necessary precautions. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want a detailed video on tuberculosis. Now check out more informative videos on our channel Rapid Dentistry and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.